Hello everybody and welcome to the table. Today we are taking a look at the CRKT. This is the LCBK. And so the claim to fame for this knife right here is that this is one of the first knives that CRKT has had made here in the United States. And so that is a big difference because of course most of their line is made overseas and that comes with the low price. So the LCBK here is made in the United States and of course that does come with a higher price and the question is, is it worth it? And so we'll take a look at the knife right here and its specs and make some size comparisons and I'll give you my thoughts on this particular knife in hand. So this is the LCBK. This is a design by Matthew Lurch. So both of the two new US made designs are made by Matthew Lurch and MJ Lurch. And so this one right here is the smaller of the two designs. So let me pull out a ruler, give you an idea of the size of the LCBK. We are looking at a three and a half inch long blade and the overall length is coming in right at around eight inches overall. The knife also is fairly lightweight. It weighs in at 2.8 ounces and that's due to the lightweight G10 construction here. And you can see there's um, no, no real liners in there. So it's very lightweight, easy to carry. The knife also has a deep carry pocket clip as you can see here, and it's perfectly functional because the G10 underneath is nice and smooth. The clips are, I mean, the screws are flush, as you can see, and so it carries very nicely. It's going to be a one position only clip, so that's a right side tip up carry. Uh, but the design of it, no faults there. And uh, the smooth G10 construction, again, as you can see all around, corners are smooth, everything looks nice, everything feels nice. We do have kind of an oversized backspacer right here which works as a lanyard hole so if you want to put a lanyard on the knife you can certainly do that and it'll have it'll have some space to wiggle in there I suppose um, but that is part of the design there so black g10 on a bead blasted blade so our blade right here from CRKT it's a thumb stud opener and we can see the bead blasted finish this is going to be a 154 cm and we can see it's a lurch design and the model number as well so being a thumb stud opener, you'll notice it has the axis lock, and I believe CRKT calls it the crossbar lock in their case, at least. But ever since the axis lock patent has gone to be open, a lot of makers have really utilized the lock in their designs for good purpose. It's a really good ambidextrous lock. And the design of the knife itself, if you look inside here, you will see the knife runs on bronze washers. So you can see that it is fairly smooth to open. So opening the, the lock, you can just swing the blade open and same thing. It drops shut without too much difficulty. So no need for bearings on this one. The washers seem to work just fine. The centering you can check out and that's fine. No issues there. So quality control seems perfectly fine on this particular sample of the knife. If I had to complain about anything with this example in my hands, um, it's really just a cosmetic issue, but you might notice right here on the blade, it's there's like a difference in the finish in the bead blast. There's like a slight line. It's not really noticeable on camera, but in person it's, it is kind of noticeable. You can see right there, there's a slight line. I don't know what, what that came from or what process uh, made that happen, but it's kind of almost like a two-tone finish for the blade. And it's not on both sides, so it is fine on this side here. But the blade itself, I do like the shape of the blade. It's kind of like this upswept, what do you, would you call this, like a modified Warncliffe style blade. And uh, the overall shape of the knife feels good in hand. There's no jimping up top, but it fits the hand nicely. It's not too thick. It's not overweight. It's just really a well-designed knife. And the fact that we're getting this here manufactured in the United States is going to be a boon for a lot of collectors, a lot of fans of CRKT in particular. Now, if you're just a hard user of knives and you want something quality made in the USA, I mean, we can look at this knife and this knife was manufactured for CRKT by Hogue. And so Hogue, of course, they have their, their whole own run of knives. Uh, the Hogue Deca in particular also uses the axis lock crossbar lock mechanism. And to be perfectly honest, they have a quite a variety of blade steels and colored handles. And the price is about a hundred bucks lower than what you're going to pay here for this CRKT. 
So I think that's really the only possible downside with this knife right here is that they are competing with the very company, of course, that's producing the knife for them. Can't fault them for that. I'm glad they had something made in the United States. That's awesome that they were able to make that collaboration work. Um, but I think CRKT's own worst enemy is going to be, of course, their own OEM manufacturer in this case. Um, but what does the CRKT LCBK come with? It's actually kind of nice. I mean, again, it's a plain CRKT box like always. But what most CRKT knives do not come with is the little pouch. Again, totally non-branded, very simple. Um, but it does kind of differentiate it from the uh, Chinese-made offerings. And there is, of course, this little paper right in the box, proudly USA made. So you can go ahead and read that right there. So really nice to see CRKT moving some, some production here to the United States. I don't know if they're going to do this too much just because I could imagine the cost, you know, of doing this is excessive in comparison to when you can make a cheap Chinese knife for, you know, $20, $30 and make significantly more profit on it. But I am glad for the avid collector, uh, the, the CRKT fan, they went out of their way to make this run of knives. So this right here is the LCBK. They also released, I believe it's called the Definitive, and that is the MJ Lurch design. It's even larger in size than this one. Both designs, in my opinion, look quite nice. I simply went with this one because I wanted the smaller size. And now let's make for some comparisons because I do have some knives on the table. Of course, these are also um, Axis lock knives. So let's set down the LCBK right there. And I'm saying that right, LCBK, yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna get that wrong. This right here is a Benchmade Mini Griptilian. And we can just set those side by side. You can see the size comparison there. And of course the Mini Grip is gonna come out a little bit smaller. But also in my opinion, a hit this year is right here. This is the Kershaw Iridium. And now this is foreign production from Kershaw, but as we can see again, we have that Axis Lock style lock on there. Beautiful action, beautiful knife, really, really well done. And even though it's foreign produced, it's it's a knockout winner this year, in my opinion. So you can see the size comparison is very similar to what we're getting with the LCBK. And so now are both of these necessarily competition for the knife? Maybe so, maybe not. Um, but really the competition that CRKT is probably thinking about right now is the Hogue Deca, because again, that is a G10 knife with a variety of blade steels, very similar in size to the LCBK. But again, since it's a Hogue branded knife, it's going to come in, you know, often about a hundred bucks less. You can pick those up for, you know, 119, 129, even less on sale sometimes, depending on the coloration and blade steels. So I think that's really the only downside to this potential knife and seeing more US made CRKT knives out there is going to be the OEM that makes it for them is going to of course be their competition. But beyond that, tell me what you think about the LCBK here. And to be honest, this is actually not the first run of US made CRKT knives. There were actually a couple of other knives they produced made in the USA as well. But these ones are probably a story for a different video overall. So again, any questions, drop a comment below. Love to hear your thoughts. Hope you all have a nice day. See you later.